Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what I feel are the absolute best discontinued designer bags. So for those of you who are looking to go pre-loved, a lot of times discontinued bags you can get an amazing deal on because they aren't affected by the price increases nearly as much as we see pre-loved bags that are still in store going for. There are also so many bags that I just don't know why the company quit making them because they were fabulous, fabulous bags. And we're going to be talking all about my favorite ones today. Also, don't forget that today is the absolute last day to enter my giveaway. So I am filming this obviously before it gets posted on Saturday, but this is the last day that you have to enter the giveaway. So make sure to do so because in the next video, I will be doing my drawing and giving away that little Hermes thank you. So I wanna start with crossbody bags. Now for me, I love a bag that can do crossbody, the strap can come off, it can do a lot of different things. I enjoy that quite a lot, but sometimes people want a true dedicated crossbody bag and there are some great ones that used to be out. And for me, the first one that comes to mind is the Louis Vuitton Circusa MM. And I just think that this bag was so beautiful. It came in a Damier Azur and it's just so lovely. Now, because it does have quite a bit of vaquetta, particularly on the front of the bag, this area can get water spots. Now, if you're someone who doesn't care that much about water spots, you can get a fantastic deal. If you want one to be pristine, you're still going to get a very good deal by Louis Vuitton prices. You're probably going to be looking at about $850 to $1,300 for this bag. So $1,300, you're looking at wonderful condition. The $850, you're going to see quite a lot of water spots. There's obviously not a huge gap between those prices, but there is a very big gap in the quality. So if you spend about $1,000, you're probably going to get a pretty good bag if you don't mind a couple of water spots. Now, I absolutely love the Damier canvas in multiple different colors that they do it in, but I think that this makes a really great crossbody because a lot of times when I'm wearing a crossbody, I'm not wanting it to be as logo-y or showy. And I think that in the Damier bean, which is the brown checkerboard, that the Bloomsburg bag was an absolutely fantastic crossbody bag. And it reminds me a lot in silhouette of the Odeon. Now, I don't really like the Odeon as much because I don't really like on the new one the tag that's on the front of it. And then on the older one, I think that it can look very big and long. But I love this one. I think that it strikes a really good balance on length, size, as well as having a little bit of tailoring to make it interesting. Plus, the canvas is super durable. And I really love the understatement of the Louis Vuitton Damier patterns, particularly because anyone who knows luxury will recognize it immediately. But if you're not wanting to be as noticeable, I think this is a great way to go. Now, another bag that is kind of in the crossbody range suffers from Dior. No one really knows what goes to the heads of the people at Dior because they will slash a bag just out of nowhere, a bag that people really love. And then sometimes they'll bring them back. Like for instance, the style bag was gone, now it's back. But the bag I think that people really have been just so shocked over and can't believe still is gone is going to be the Dior Diorama. Now, I think that this is a really cool bag. It is a lot like the Chanel boy bag. And perhaps that's why Dior slashed it was because they didn't want that direct bag to bag comparison. But for me, I actually really like the Diorama better. I love the intricate work in the leather piping. And... You will typically see this bag on the pre-loved market most often in pink, spacious, and grays. It did obviously come in other colors, but those are the ones you see come up most often. And you're probably going to be looking in the $900 to $1,400 range for this bag. And that reminds me, I forgot to mention the price bag of the Bloomsburg. That's probably going to be about $750 to $1,000. So all of these bags are going to fall in similar ranges depending on the condition that you are willing to accept for that particular bag. Now, I love the Diorama. A, another bag that I think is one that now we can sort of move into those transition bags. They're not true crossbodies, but still have that crossbody strap. 
and again another victim of Dior although this was not their most popular bag to be honest and that's the Dior Ever and I specifically love the small version of this bag. The bigger versions can suffer a lot from slouching and I think the smaller one holds its shape better but you can find a wide variety of colors. You can find metallics, you can find solid leathers, you can find navies, you can find pinks, you can find bronzes and I just absolutely love this bag. I think that's super cool. It's also a bag that doesn't have as much branding and so I feel like they can definitely go for a work situation and particularly if you get one of the bigger sizes. And again you're going to be looking in that $900 to $1,400 price point. The size of the bag, the condition of the bag, that's obviously all going to play a part. A another bag that I think is fabulous and I do not understand why this was slashed and that's from Louis Vuitton and that is my Cobbis Piano. Now they had this bag in I believe three different sizes. This is the BB. I think it also came in a PM, either an MM or a GM, but they also had a tote in this. They had a clutch in this. A lot of people can't believe they got rid of the clutch in this line but I love this bag because it has that durable canvas but it also has leather and sometimes I think that the leather combinations that LV does and the way in which they do it and the grain of the leather that they do it with can be a bit much against some of the monogram canvas but I feel like this bag was just done so well I mean look at the sides it's and I I love this bag they also had a gorgeous it was beige but they called it dune color that was phenomenal with this bag. There was like a maroon color. They had some others as well, but those were the three that I just absolutely loved and thought were gorgeous. I wanted the black because that way I would feel very comfortable carrying this bag, whether I was in black, brown, navy, whatever color. And I just don't know why this was gotten rid of. This particular bag, and really most of the ones in the Cobbis line, you'll be seeing go for around $1,800 to $2,100, depending on the condition and the color of the leather. I think that this was a fabulous bag. I paid, well, let me see. I think I may have the tag in here somewhere. So I paid $2,300 for this bag. And so the fact that I could sell this in so the fact that I could sell this after nearly five years of use and get basically my money out of it tells me that if you buy this pre-loved and then you want to sell it again, you'll be able to get your money out of this style bag. And it's gorgeous. I mean, I carry this as a daily bag like, all the time. I can carry it to weddings. I can carry it to dinners. I love this bag because it's just so elegant. And this one does definitely have much more of an elegance to it than the Dior Ever, but the Dior Ever also has some more practicality to it because it is a bigger bag. And then finally, speaking about bigger bags, I have three bags that I would definitely recommend in the tote category. First up, store of sticking with LV here, is going to be the Louis Vuitton Totally bag. This comes in three different sizes. I personally think the MM is the best size in the bag. I did a video, which I'll link somewhere up above, talking about the comparison between that bag, another one of my pre love discontinued bags, which is the Cobbis Piano, and my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And so I think that if you are considering looking between either the MM or the GM size, that can be helpful for you looking between those two sizes. Now, Chanel is another brand that is known to have the fabulous Deauville tote. I don't personally want a Deauville for myself. I think that their best tote was actually this discontinued one, which is the Chanel GST or Grand Chopper tote. I think that this was a fabulous bag. I love the quilting on it because it's that classic quilting. I also love the fact that even though it has the big CC, it's in the same color as the bag, so it blends in much better. Now, you will typically see this bag coming up in beige and black and a lot of times you really just see it with the silver hardware and so if you are not a silver hardware person you're going to have to look a lot harder if you don't want a beige or a black you're going to have to look a lot harder now since this bag is discontinued you won't be able to get it new obviously there's going to be some wear to this bag because it's been discontinued for a while a lot of them are still in really good shape though the biggest spot for wear is typically going to be on the corners of the bag and that's something that if that bothers you, you can get a great price on the bag that's a little bit of corner wear and then switch over 
your to leather surgeon sent to them and they can touch up those corners no problem and no one will even know that the bag had any issues now this bag you'll typically find in the two thousand to four thousand dollar price range and i've got the price range i think on the totally which is probably going to be looking between the twelve hundred to two thousand dollar price mark so sort of like the upper echelon of the lv is going to be your bottom base for your chanel gst now a another bag that i think is absolutely fabulous and out of the bags on this list it's the one that i'm personally considering getting for myself at some point either this year or maybe next year and that's going to be the ysl cassandra grand poudre maltese i think it's like it's full long massive name shopping tote and this is basically the same shape same type of bag as the chanel gst you're typically going to see it in grays and it's sort of like this maroon color that i think is absolutely beautiful it's typically going to have gold hardware and you're generally going to see it pop up for around 2500 dollars now the thing that i love about this one it's leather is very very durable it's every bit as durable as chanel caviar probably even more so not necessarily as durable as the canvas but a very durable leather and i love the chevron quilting on this bag I think that it is just so beautiful and YSL is not doing as many bags in their grained leather anymore and so I think that getting one of these bags now would be a really good investment. So I think that that wraps up my picks for my favorite discontinued bags from Louis Vuitton, Dior, Chanel, and YSL. Maybe this gave you an idea for your next bag. If there is a bag that you love that has been discontinued from any luxury fashion house, I'd love for you to put it down in the comments below because I'd love to be aware of what are the bags that you guys wish were still being made again. And who knows, maybe one day someone from one of these companies will be scrolling through comments and will say, you know what, we should make that bag again. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Bye!